Epic build up. Epic build up. It's not building up fast enough. Hold on. Yeah. I may have got this wrong. I Okay, so I'm going to do something, uh, hopefully, stupid. I've got these uh, D11 plugged Estes rocket engines, and uh, we went to Lowe's to uh, get some pipe. They were closed. So when we were buying fireworks, I looked for Roman candles. Uh, not for size and color, but for a tube that this would fit in. And I believe after we expand the Roman candle, this is going to be just perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make fins for this here. And, uh... Now I'm thinking if I dug this charge here out, when the back charge shot, that thing would send that Roman candle off. But I don't know. Let me get some fin material and get that started. Okay, so my brilliant idea has morphed into other brilliant ideas. So what we have here is a D11. Now D11 is about middle range of the size of rocket engines. They uh, come from A, B, C, D, E, and I think F is the biggest black powder rocket engine that you can get. Uh, on the market. I think when they go to um, G, uh, they're more chemical repellent. Um, okay, so my, uh, as I was walking around the shop doing this, I had another brilliant idea, which I'll bring up in, uh, in, in just a minute, but let me explain a couple of things here. So we've got some D's. And where I got these was I picked up a, uh, let me show you. I picked up this Estes glider. It's an Estes rocket glider. Let me see if you can see. And a rocket engine goes in there. And you can high start these. And uh, when it's up in the air, right before it starts to uh, lose, uh, forward trajectory with a rocket engine and uh, it will propel it, send it up a little higher. Now what we used to do with those, we would even carry them up, drag start them or tow, tow start them up with a larger plane, release them and then go into a dive and as soon as we start to pull it out of the dive we would pull the trigger to fire the rocket engine. And I would tie or put two of these rocket engines together this way, tape them together. So the thing is, is that you've got, uh, you see, the idea is here. So I'm going to take this uh, store bought Roman candle and I've drawn some almost straight lines on this rocket because we are doing this very fast and nasty. I'm going to use hot glue. And I'm going to do my best to try to get it, this as true as possible. That is not a firecracker going off. That is a gun. And I 
wonder who that can be. Probably some idiot around uh, five foot nine that drives a white truck. I'm guessing. Okay, so one fin down, 15 to go. And so, you know, this is going to be more of the traditional style rocket once we get this done. But then I'm thinking, you know, uh, they make these uh, bottle rockets. <laughs> so why not just glue one of these on a stick and uh, see <laughs> see what happens? The fire department's really close, man. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just man. we just drove by it, right? So at any rate, let's see. Got that one done. Let me get this one here. I need another glue stack. Brother, if you would do me a favor and run in the house and ask Miss Kim if she would give you a, uh, a straw. All right. Like just a regular cheap old funky straw that would come in a, uh, a drink. You know what I mean? Like from Stripes drink or something. Uh-oh. Sounds to me like people are starting to gather and expecting things uh, to blow up. I'm working. What's hey, up, buddy? You need to hurry up with the fireworks. Well, I'm trying to build one right now. Oh, and that's what I was thinking of. This was? Yeah, I was thinking of this. And, and I broke the, the things for it, yeah. and luckily, you got wood for it. Is that the only one you're building? No, I want to build two experimental. I, I, I just want you to build one. Yeah. And, and that's that one. And it's already done, it looks like that's done. Okay? Okay. All right, I'll be, uh, Papa, I'll be out there in a few, okay? Okay. Sure. Cool beans. So yeah, take that. Lengths. Just need one. And take and cut that thing and uh, cut uh, about four inches here. Okay. Cut about three or four inches like that. Need yep. two of them. All right. Then we're going to need a, uh, a Death Rod 2000 to uh, poke in the ground. So are you going to be the one that holds the LiPo battery up to this thing and lights it up? or? Well, I guess I always am. <laughs> <laughs> you always get stuck with... Been one mission always get stuck with the good jobs. Oh, yeah. So I don't know, man. This thing here is pretty... Uh, you know, once it blows all the junk that the uh, Chinese put in here, it may lighten up. But this this tube is pretty pretty heavy, man. And I'm not really sure that this D engine is going to lift this thing in the air. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, you know, it's going to move it, but I don't. I just don't know how well. I don't know how well Why it's going to move it? it. Huh? You can't cut it a little bit. I could I could snip a little off the end, I reckon. Okay, so we gotta put us a guide. Hey Papa. Hey Rocky. Can I help you with that? You always can help me with that. Do you know what I'm doing? Because I don't. You're making a firework. Well, kinda. I'm trying to make a uh, firework. Dang, uh, uh, not dangerous, uh, better. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> it, so you're putting straws on it? Well, these are guide straws. 
scotch straws? Yeah, because it's got to have something to go. Something to slip on. This holds it in place. So this isn't the one, but we'll put a rod in the ground like that. And this will slide over that rod. So when this thing takes off, it and keeps that, it going straight. And then go. No, this one's not going to go. How do you do with that again? Okay, no, it's not going to it's not going to do that. This one's just going to go. And then depending on what engine we put in it, uh it can go. Puh. Okay. Now, okay. Now this one here has got an O on it. Do you know what that O means? No. Okay, that means zero delay if I'm not mistaken. So it's a delay. So this is a D size rocket engine. It's a number 12 in accelerant, which means it's going to go real, real fast. It's not going to put around. And then when it pops off, uh, it's got a uh, zero. So I'm pretty that sure that's what that means. I can't really remember. I have to look on the... It's been so many years since I've done this. I know the P's, though, this plugged one, this one has no charge at all. Okay? So... You remember the bottle rockets that we used to mess with when when no. you, when you were younger? No. Oh, that's right. You never were younger. You're still young. And I I was when I started talking. I was four. Yeah. And then what happened? Oh, you wouldn't hadn't shut up since. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> right. I, I I talk in my sleep and my eyes are open wide. You do. You do talk in your sleep. You yeah. argue with yourself yeah, in your my, sleep. Yeah. My I. Is like my eyes open when I'm asleep. <clears throat> like, like I'm like. So, have you figured out? Have you learned how to spell IQ yet? What? Have you learned how to spell IQ yet? Yeah. Now. All I have to do is like stretch the word, like say it slowly. Okay. Catch the first sound. Catch the first sound. Okay. Of like where I'm at. Okay. In the word. Okay. So. Say the word IQ. IQ. Okay, so how do you spell it? I Q. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> IQ. I didn't trick you with that one. <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay, let me try another one. This one they do on blondes. So, listen, if you're going five miles an hour in a car, okay? Five miles an hour. How many miles will you go in one hour? Five. Oh, man, look at this kid. <laughs> I guarantee you, if I ask your Mimi that, she's going to sit there and think about it for an hour. <laughs> or maybe for five hours. All right. All right, so we need a uh, we need a uh, charge. Charge. Uh, the igniter. The, so look. I forgot about the igniter. Okay, so this is the my little igniter. brother. Let me show you. These things are expensive, man. Yeah. This is like these are like fifteen bucks, man, for the, three. That thing looks three exactly like that. Like, yeah, because it is exactly like that. It came out of this exactly like that package. Don't you know? No, I'm just... It came out of that package, don't you know? <laughs> you sound like Mario. So look at this. Quit messing with a rocket, man. Don't you know that that's highly explosive black powder? Oh. So look at that. What's that? It's igniter. Igniter? Yeah, so you put a, uh, a... Hey, pay attention, kid. You put a wire here that's positive, and you put a wire here that's negative. Okay? And when you put the power to it, from the battery, this thing here acts like a match, and it goes. It goes like. How? <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay. So we're gonna take this igniter, and we're gonna stick it in the igniter hole. Okay, is that like the hole? And actually, is see this that? stuff here. I don't know. I've never used this stuff, but I think. I think. Oh, don't get to trying stuff now. Yeah, don't try nothing now, Dad Gummit boy. No, I don't think no. This here just sticks in here. Like that, and you fold it over, and then you take uh, the bunghole plug. <laughs> bunghole. <laughs> the bunghole. You know what a bunghole is, right? <laughs> bunghole is a hole inside of a wooden uh, uh, barrel. Uh, oh, it's um. It's, it's a um, hole in a wooden barrel. 
It's called um. Unless you've been watching Beavis and Butthead. It's um called a cork. It's called cork. The cork is what you plug the bunghole with. No, the cork is what you who um block beer with. <laughs> did you uh, did you did you tell him what H E B stands for? Howard E. Butts. <laughs> Howard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves that saying. <laughs> I I I usually say a power D but instead of power. Hey, look out now. Okay. Okay. We're goofing off, man. We're playing with explosives here. Oh. See this stuff? These these instructions. See that right there? <laughs> that's for girls. Go throw that away, dude. Yeah, that's for girls. <laughs> <laughs> Instructions oh, are for weenies. All right, dude, go in there and get uh, Papa's uh, leather coat, would you? Where, where's your coat? In the house. I need protection. I'm telling you. There's no, getting I, ready to be fire and brimstone like, blowing up around on here. On the couch? Huh? On the couch? The camera out there, and we'll we'll give it a shot and let you see uh, how many alarm fire it is. Epic build up. Epic build up. <laughs> It's not building up fast enough. Hold on. Yeah. Ah, here we go. All right, hit that light, dude. All right, hit the other light, dude. your heart out, SpaceX. <laughs> wow. Yeah, buddy. I'm guessing that's it. All right, man. Now we've got our rocket hauled out. Here, hold this. Let me look in here and see what we got. Oh, that D's going to go right in there real good, baby. All right, let me go get the rocket engine put in there, and i got to get a hammer. Let's see here. Oh, we don't need a corn yet. Okay, there's one of them. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're going to turn Am I losing wires? I'm excited to see. That's why I told him. Okay, there's a negative. There's a positive. This is how not to do fireworks right here. One on one. All right, Rod. Mm-hmm. On the job explosion. Okay. Now, this is a uh, 12 11, a D 12 11 P. Uh, Seven. A poly uh, <laughs> battery from SpaceX. And this is how we do this. Appreciate that. Elon this Musk. is how we. Hey, you need to video that, dude, not me. Well, I'm trying to get you hooked <laughs> up. Don't worry yeah. about me. I'm good. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 
the song. And nothing. It's not supposed to. It's gonna fall right on his house. Nah, it's gonna. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, all in all, I gotta say that was pretty successful. Uh, I've never tried that with rocket engines before. I'm sure smarter people than I have, uh, but uh, that was a lot of fun, and it really kind of opens the door to a lot of things that you can do with, with these engines. Uh, I do want to say, though, uh, make sure that you're in a safe place and uh, supervised with somebody that's got an IQ higher than mine. It shouldn't be hard to find. And uh, maybe start off with uh, the little small, uh, small ones, and move your way up. But the uh, they have the A, half A, and quarter A, which the quarter A's are just little bitty guys. And uh, I have I've never actually seen them. I've seen them for sale, but never bought one. And uh, at any rate, though, uh, man, that just really opens up a a, a lot of. A lot of doors for a lot of ideas that you could do with these little things outside of normal rocketry. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Anyway, y'all have a good and safe new year and got to know Joe Hobby says, Happy New Year. Ha <laughs> <laughs>